The community came together at Central Church of Christ throughout the day to pay tribute and honor the legacy of Minister Franklin Florence. The spiritual leader, husband and father passed away last week. Tonight, many local and state leaders remembered him as a true fighter for civil rights, both here and across the United States. Christian Garzon attended the community service where many spoke about Minister Florence's work to improve housing and employment opportunities. Christian. Yeah, Teresa, it was a who's who of the region remembering Minister Franklin Florence as a workhorse and a giant for civil rights. His legacy set now to inspire for generations to come. Felicia Florence is married to Franklin Florence's son and has been a member of the family going on 43 years now. She remembers Franklin as an affectionate patriarch of the family. Pop was instrumental. Yeah. You know, that's what I started calling him. But we, the community, remember him as Minister Florence, a civil rights icon. The turnout Friday at the Central Church of Christ, says Felicia, speaks to both his character and legacy. It says that people don't forget. County Executive Adam Bello taking to the podium, calling Franklin Florence a towering figure in the fight for equality. The loss of Minister Florence is a loss for our entire community, but for you all, it is so intimate. It is so personal. Speakers describe Florence as an activist, an activist who didn't need to say he was one. He was a workhorse, not a show horse. Mayor Malik Evans said Florence led the way in ending discriminatory practices at major companies like Xerox, Kodak, and General Motors. His legacy yet to reach its full potential. He has planted so many seeds that have not even bloomed yet because of the work that he put forward. Felicia says Florence had a talent from God to rally people behind him. Unfortunately, she says there is still work to do. The undercurrents of racism continue to affect all peoples, but particularly people of color. Now, Minister Florence and his family were given the keys to the city of Rochester and to Monroe County. Teresa, right back to you. Christian, thank you. The actual funeral service for Minister Florence will take place tomorrow at 11 a.m. at the Rochester Riverside Convention Center. News 8 will be there.